Hello there. So as some of you already know, and you've been following this channel already, so I've been making videos for this channel for quite some time now, all basically surrounding soccer jerseys and whatnot. And I realized I haven't really introduced myself, who I am, or what this channel is all about. And I have about 40 subscribers now, so I figured now would be a good time for me to finally do that. So here I am. My name is Federico. Some people call me Fed. And this is my channel called Dysentery FC. Now you might be wondering why Dysentery FC or why did I decide to make videos about soccer jerseys and all that. Well, I can sit here and tell you all about that, but I figured it might be a little bit boring just talking about me and I don't know. I just, I'm not really good about talking about myself. So I figured why not make it a little bit interesting and bring one of my best friends along in this video and kind of just talk about why I decided to make this channel, why I decided to name it the way I named it, and just go from there. And at the end of the video, we're gonna talk about our top jerseys that are in our, both our collections. Bobby is also a big soccer fan. He's been collecting jerseys longer than I have. So this should be a pretty good, interesting video. But let's not waste any more time and let's jump right in it. Bobby, where are you at? Where am I at? I'm at where home. You at? I'm looking up uh, my Jersey year dates because I'm a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, thank you for being on this call. Thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, you know, it's what it, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. you and I have been best friends since high school. Uh, it's Correct. probably safe to say that you and I have redefined the, the term high school sweetheart. <laughs> Pretty much high school sweetheart now is just your bro. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So I'll fight anyone who wants to argue against it. <laughs> Your four followers, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I actually surpassed 40 subscribers, so shout out to all oh. three of you. Thank you so much for the subscription. Uh, you, you chose this life. I'm sorry. Now you're here. <laughs> yeah, but I thought, it was, I thought it was funny how, you know, the channel in this not growing substantially, but 40 subscribers to me is a lot. And I, I'm, none of these people probably even know what my name is. I mean, you discovered my channel just because I think something came up on Instagram where your, your, my Instagram dysentery FC page came across yours and you just discovered it. Um, I haven't announced it officially. Well, I mean, by this time I will have officially announced it, but I haven't announced it to anyone. Like everything that I've done so far has been just me going on YouTube and just uploading it. And people are just discovering it without me doing any sort of promotion whatsoever. Um, but now I'm here and I actually want to talk to everyone about who I am, what this channel is about. And the channel is called Dysentery FC. It's all done by me. Um, yes, I know the name is funny. The name is funny. I, the funny thing is, so, okay, you know me, you know, I love toilet humor, right? Yeah. So, and <laughs> the funny <laughs> thing is I've, for the past 10 years, I would always send you toilet selfies. And it's nothing gross. It's nothing like me showing like my poop or anything like that. It's just literally me grabbing my phone, sitting on the toilet, and then just boop, taking a selfie. And In I fact, send you those kind I have of an album of it. You yes, you, you <laughs> have pretty much got enough. You have enough. You know, like those uh those portraits or those portraits that people have of like like presidents or whatever. But if you look really closely, they're like made out of tiny little images. Yep. You could essentially do one of those. Well. I can make, use all those to make a bigger one. Yeah, like you can make a toilet <laughs> image out of all my toilet stuff. So yeah, so the name Dysentery FC comes from me just having a lot of toilet humor. Uh, but the real reason was that when I was playing FIFA, creating my ultimate team, I wanted to have a team that the name, I wanted the name to be something poop related. But it wouldn't let me use the word poop. It wouldn't obviously let me use the word S-H-I-T. And so I'm like, okay, well, what can I do that's kind of similar? And so I tried Enema. It would not let me use enema. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, well, let's try dysentery. And so I did dysentery FC and it worked. Um, and so then when I decided I wanted to do a channel, a soccer channel, then I just figured I might as well just go with that without really thinking about it. And I just went with it. Now I'm kind of thinking about it. Maybe I should have maybe chose a better name, but <laughs> this is what it is. And this is where we're at. So, Too late yeah. now. You're going down yeah. this rabbit hole. I'm already, I'm already in it. I can't get out of it now. You know, I actually thought about maybe changing like one of the E's to an A, like this and Terry. Mm. That way, maybe like if someone tries to do a Google search, nothing weird will come up. <laughs> and people will search it. Yeah. And the thing is, I actually did that test before creating the, the, the channel. And when I searched this and Terry, like nothing gross came up. It just was like, you know, some people had it in some countries and that was it. <laughs> 
So I think we're safe. But then also like, you know, when I was, you know, I, I've told a few people about the channel and they were saying like, yeah, you know, and if your channel grows, you can get sponsors and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, would a company really want to sponsor someone by the name of <laughs> Dysentery? <laughs> so I'm just like, maybe I should change something about it. But this is what it is right now. I mean, maybe a laxative, you know, company will hire you. <laughs> <laughs> right? Why not? Oh, but, you know, yeah, and uh, any soccer player that suffers from, like, constipation will be also <laughs> a spokesman. <laughs> <laughs> Which is possible. They travel a lot. So, you know, change of yeah. diet. But, yeah. So here we are. Well, you're editing, right? You're editing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Everything, uh, everything. The channel is edited by me and only me, and it's very time consuming, but it's still fun at the same time. <laughs> so, what would you say? You know, I know you mentioned that you don't think this would go far just because of the name, but what would you say on a personal level? You, you know, what would you feel would be like a, a win with this channel? Um, honestly, I don't know. I kind of already feel like it's a win just having forty subscribers. <laughs> you know, um. And I, and I don't, like I said, I, and I've done it without really promoting anything. So now that it's out there and I've announced it to everyone, like, I, I guess a win would be like, if just people just continue to watch the videos and subscribe to it. Um, Cause I, you know, it, it is something that I have, I enjoy, I enjoy doing a lot and I do put in a lot of work into it. Like it does, it's very time consuming. Like, I'm pretty sure you're just watching like a quick 10, 15 minute video and you think, oh, it just took 15 minutes to do, but really it took hours because you had to record it uh i'm someone who stutters stutters a lot like i just did right now and so i a lot of times i have to repeat the sentence without the stuttering or whatnot and like it's a lot of cuts and edits so like it, it's very time consuming um so i you know i hope that a big win would be if people just actually enjoy the work that i put into it is there something i guess that you're you know you're interested in and also maybe promoting or showing or recording or are you kind of just going to, you know, stick into like the Jersey lane, I guess? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of going to stick within the Jersey lane. So that's a good point that you, you bring up, actually, because the original idea for this channel was to do soccer Jersey related stuff. But then I also wanted to do like soccer related video games as well with that. Um, and I did a few like FIFA game, re not reviews, but just kind of like let's play. But then as I did those videos and I've showed I showed off my game room uh in one of my videos i have a lot of games like it would be such a shame for me to just only talk about soccer video games when i have so many other video games in my disposal um so i actually ended up making a second channel um called dysentery gamer <laughs> but so you know i decided to and i decided to end up separating those two worlds and so yeah this channel is going to be more just focused around just like soccer jerseys or anything in relation to to that you know I haven't really thought about much more, um, but there's always ideas popping in my head. Another thing that I like to do also is I do love to go to these, like I like to go to thrift stores and these discount stores like, like Ross, Marshalls, all that stuff. And I do like going on hunts for Jersey. The only thing I don't do that maybe I should do is that normally when I find these jerseys, I kind of just then once I get home, pull out the camera and I like, look what I found. Um, but maybe it might be a little bit more exciting if I will actually record the process, like me actually going to these places and me actually finding them right then and there. That might be something cool to see. Uh, you know, what? actually, let me tell you how what inspired the channel, I guess. So what started the channel was basically I started um, watching this guy on YouTube. His name is Ellis and his channel is called Away Days. And during lockdown, he would always post mystery box videos that he would get from different I, I guess soccer retailers over in Europe mm -hmm. and I just got really like into just watching like the random things that he would pull out of the out of the box and like he would get like really good jerseys some of them would be really crap and you know like I just I just got really curious of, like what would happen if I were to get one but like there were like no really mystery box retailers here in the U.S. and I don't want to have to deal with like the whole like international shipping I mean though I, I still do it sometimes but international shipping is a bitch long story short <laughs> yeah um and so i really like looked hard and hard and hard for like u.s retailers that did mystery boxes but there weren't really any and then eventually one day one popped up and i wanted to get one without any intention of ever making a video or anything like that i just i was literally just curious to see what would happen if i would if i were to get one um so i want but i wanted to look up reviews to see if they were good because i don't want to get something pay like a hundred bucks for something and then they all ended up being crap you know mm -hmm. But I could not find reviews anywhere about this one, not about the company itself, but about this mystery box, like if it was any good, what's it worth it, blah, 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 blah. 
And so I was thinking, well, how about this? How about I just buy it? I'll, I'll take a hit for it. And then I'll just make my own review. I'll put it on YouTube. That way, if people, all the people want to look it up, they at least have this one review of, you know, whether it was worth it or not. And that, that was literally going to be it. And I think that's probably why I wasn't, I was so nonchalant about just calling it dysentery FC because I, I think I figured it would be just that one video and that was it. Mm -hmm. And then I got it. I made the video. It's the very first video that's on that channel. And it actually ended up doing, I mean, of course, it doesn't have thousands of views or anything like that, but it has pretty decent views. And so then, um, and so really the idea really came from me just watching this one dude doing that on his channel that I was like, well, let me just see if I, if, let me see what I would get from Mushy Box. And then it just ended up just keep going. I just kept <laughs> buying it. And then I just kept uploading. And then I just did other things along with it too. And I was, I went on searching for jersey. I kept finding, like, the thing is too, like when, when it comes to like the jersey hunts, I, it's not like I planned to go to Ross with that intention, like, or Marshalls or whatever. Like I literally just went there because I wanted to pick up some stuff for the kids, maybe like some new clothes or whatever. Mm -hmm. And there they were. And so I just started buying them. And then I was like, well, look what I'm finding at these stores, you know? So it's just, things just started happening, I guess, in my favor. And I, it just, I don't know, it just ended up working out, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, like the whole mystery box thing, like I, you know, since I can remember, I've seen it for like years. And like you said, I, me as a big Jersey guy, like I never thought of buying it just because it's like, I always thought I would get like, I was like, there's no way they'd put like a Barca jersey or like an AC Milan. Like I always figured I'd get like four, it's four jerseys, right? Or three? Uh, so yeah, it, it depends. Like the ones that I get, <laughs> it, there, there's some, some people sell just one jersey. Mm -hmm. um, the one place I mainly shop at, it's called we got, uh, we got soccer.com they'll have different tiers, like one jersey, two jerseys, three jerseys, four mm -hmm. jerseys. And okay. they'll be like national teams or club teams and stuff like that, you know? That's actually pretty cool. Because the one I only know about is from like soccer.com and World Soccer Shop. And I mm -hmm. think there's just like three and it's like at set price at like a hundred. But I was like, man, do I want to pay like a hundred for like, you know, three MLS jerseys of teams? That I <laughs> or like, you know, something like that's what I figured I'd get. But then, you know, yeah. when I saw your channel, I was like, yo, like they're throwing in like, you know, national team jerseys that they're in, like actual Nike, Puma, Adidas. So I was like, it's, you know, even if you get one, that's like, what's a regular jersey now? Like 85, 90? Yeah. So it's kind of like you're getting your, your money's worth plus like two jerseys that maybe they're not an ideal team, but they're maybe like Adidas or a nice brand. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is like normally with like mystery boxes too, I feel like a lot of them, they're just trying to push out whatever they just were trying to get rid of, you know? And that's another thing, like, with WeGotSoccer.com, I feel like I've always gotten really good jerseys. Like, they sent me jerseys, even though they were on sale for, like, 45 50 Like, I paid 100 bucks for four. So, really, I only paid 25 for each jersey. Yeah. So, that's a really good deal. But then there's some other companies where, like, let me just throw whatever I can and just get rid of it, <laughs> you know? So, it's like, but so far, I haven't had really a bad experience, I should say, or anything like that. True. Yeah. I mean, I feel like. I mean, obviously, we probably will never know how they package it, but I'm assuming they'd have to do it with you get at least one decent jersey, you know? Yeah. Like, like if you did the, if you were doing this and you got like, let's say four of them and they all were bad jerseys, then people are going to be like, nah, screw that. Like, I'm not yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, Although I will say I got Uruguay twice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, yeah, you got to think of it too. What are the odds of that? Yeah. There's so many jerseys every year. Like, what are the odds you get two of the same jerseys? Yeah, I actually ordered another one recently. And I'm still waiting for it to come to the mail. So hopefully I don't get another year of wide, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, third year wide jersey. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. You know what? I'm going to announce it right here. If I get another year wide jersey, I will give that jersey away to one of the subscribers. Hey, no, take back. Not you, because you already got one. No, no, I'm a subscriber. I got a fair <laughs> shot just like everyone else. <laughs> then I will have two year wide jerseys. <laughs> How many jerseys do you have? The last time I counted, I have a list. I have 103, but that's before the start of the, what are we at? 2021, 2022 season. Yes. So since then, I have bought maybe six, seven more jerseys. Uh, how crazy. about you? When, I know you started the, the jersey game late, but I know you, you're catching up pretty quickly. Yeah, every, yeah. I mean, it was always Argentina jerseys at first, um, but yeah, I think now... And I really only started, I wanted to like 2018, but now I have like probably more than 80 jerseys. Holy shit. Yeah. I did not think it was that high already. No, yeah, it's a, it's, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. It's like, a dangerous game, man. Jersey hunting <laughs> is, and when they're that cheap, and 
and then you find online deals and then mystery boxes dude it really accumulates yeah you know honestly yeah like that's one thing i'll say like a lot of people when they want either see my collection or like two like right now when i said i had over 100 you're like oh crap yeah. like you know you try to you know, automatically i assume most people are like oh 100 times 80 you know they yeah. think i buy all these jerseys but actually no i'm kind of like you where like i'd probably say 80 percent of my jerseys were all like you know toward the end of the year yep. you know like rockville soccer i know like like black friday they do buy one get one half off and you know you just go with a friend like hey what jersey do you want you split it so it's always like finding deals oh yeah yeah because <laughs> yeah, there's no way i'm gonna spend full, i mean unless like, like like this jersey this barca from what was it last year mm -hmm. like like their black jerseys i always know they're they like they're gold like you won't find them you have to get them right away so in those jerseys that i know they're gonna sell out like I'll, yeah i'll pay like the full price but it's also right. not like common you know most times they'll have like a restock um but if it's a jersey i really want like yeah i'll i'll pay that full price yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, that's like me with Argentina. Like this year's Argentina's jersey, I had to get a full price, authentic and everything. <laughs> oh, you got the authentic one? Yeah, authentic. Nice, nice. With Messi in the back? No. That's a DIY that's project, true. man. <laughs> that's true. That's part of the channel. That's a video. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be dope to have like a, a pro on this channel. Oh, no, yeah, for sure, man. You know, you know what I thought would be something really cool, but I don't think it'll ever happen, but it'd be really cool if it could happen. So, you know, I don't know if I ever sent you this, but there was someone, and this is video game related, by the way. So basically this dude, he uh, did a cover of this song that was on Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, and it's like one of the most recognizable songs on that game. And he had Tony Hawk sing the song. He had the actual lead singer of that song play bass. He had Steve Caballero play rhythm guitar. And he also had the drummer of Goldfinger, who they also had a hit song on the first Tony Hawk Pro Skater, play the drums while he did the rhythm guitar. And I thought that was like the coolest, most epic cover ever in the world. Like, I, and, and I still listen to that on repeat sometimes, like from the second I leave my house to go to work till I get there. And it takes an hour for me to get to work. So that's a long time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I thought it'd be really cool if like, if there's like an iconic like FIFA song on one of the FIFA games that I could like get like other like soccer players who actually do play musical instruments to like have like a cover where we can come together and like make a cover of a song. That's like my dream. <laughs> That'll be the win. That would be the win. Plenty <laughs> songs too, man. Plenty songs yeah. to choose from. That, yeah, yeah. that would be the win actually. Well, hey, so you and I both have a big, large collection of jerseys. So I figured it'd be really fun to take now this time to show off our top five jerseys so we can show everyone. For the world to see all right how about right. we get that going you want me to go first uh doesn't matter you can go right. first well i'll throw in so this isn't part of the five but i'll throw in a little like little surprise this is my first yeah my bonus this is the first jersey i ever got this is nice. the gift from my god brother johnny i'm sure he'll watch this because he's better because he he's our friend <laughs> and he supports us. He's a subscriber though <laughs> <He's> a, oh uh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out but he got me this jersey for Christmas one year so it's my first one so it's something you know two reasons I treasure it one it's you know he gave it to me a present two mm -hmm. you know first jersey and three AC Milan I did say two reasons three but <laughs> little bonus so put that away oh, yeah that's a good bonus and then so my top five all right so in number five this number man five. city I believe it's the the weight jersey from 2013 so this is the first year that you know um, city went Nike. I'm a huge fan of like, you know, black clean jerseys. I feel like they look clean, whether you're wearing them, you know, out and about or, you know, playing on the field. Uh, one of the first jerseys too, that I got with the patches. So I thought, you know, that was always like dope. Um, I don't have a name on it, but I do, I did buy the name print. So I'm going to use this page's DIY and put it on myself. It's one of the, who is it? It's Yaya Tori. And nice. this was also the season where he was an absolute monster and like beasted and dominated the EPL. So many reasons why this jersey is number five. The way it looks, the players that wore it, it's Man City, and it's, it's Nike. Coming number four is this Jordan PSG jersey from 2019. Still has the tags. Nice. And unfortunately, it's a you can see it's a small back when I used to fit small. I can't wear this jersey no more. So I'll keep the tags on. But I'd say, you know, I'm not the biggest PSG fan. You know, I've, I've 
appreciated them since like when Dino was there back in like what 20 2003 yeah you know and obviously now they're a much bigger team we've had Zlatan Neymar Messi's there now Sergio Ramos like they have big name players the reason I like this jersey is because white is also clean it's Jordan so it's definitely something like I feel like it's the collectible you know I this one I did have to pay you know a little extra like I didn't get it when it released my own fault you know something (laughs) I I knew that was going to be popular I just didn't pull the trigger so I had to pay a little extra but I don't mind because seeing it super clean doesn't have the patches um so it doesn't make it like you know super cool looking no name either but same with the yaya i do have a neymar print that i'm gonna put on this all right number three is this ac milan tech fit jersey as you can see it has like you know this cool like i guess what i would call it like it's it's really tight fit it is um i think back when was this was a christmas present from my now wife um I think, if I'm not mistaken, this was like a 2011 year, um, back when you couldn't really get like authentic player jerseys. So this was like the first, from what I know, from what I've seen, you know, Adidas released a couple of these. Like I think, you know, Bayern Munich had some, I think Chelsea had some, AC Milan, a couple MLS teams. But this one, like, it's just so clean. Like, it, you know, it was authentic. Like the back, you know, it has like this little like X thing you can probably see with the light. Yep. And it was just like a really like when I, you know, back then I was fitter. So it fit me cooler back then. But also like when the (laughs) players wore it, it was just such a clean, sick jersey, you know, and it's like everything about it just like, you know, it's got this little like tech fit. Yeah. Like logo. Um, And I do like I've I've always debated if I want to get a name on it, but I I just I feel like it's going to ruin like this little X. Um, Maybe I shouldn't think that way. But of course, if I get this jersey, everyone knows who I'd put on it. Can you guess? You will get Zlatan. <laughs> Dino, man, Dino. You gotta always, you can never have too many Ronaldinho jerseys. Oh, dude, I forget that he played there. <laughs> uh, it, yeah, it wasn't his best of years. You know, obviously, those are like the, the Barca days, but he had good, like, but he had a good two, two years, three years there. Like, he, he did good. I guess it's just because it was, you know, the Italian league, it just didn't get much focus. Yeah. But yeah, that name or that jersey would get his name on it. But all right, going back to the jersey. So in fourth, uh, another, is it that Barca already? No, my first Barca jersey that I'll show. Um, it's another player authentic jersey from 2020 year. Um, this one I think is really special to me because it was, um, you know, I was in my honeymoon. I uh, got to watch my first Barca game at the Camp Nou. So this jersey I bought at the Camp Nou Stadium. Of course, you know, it has all, the patches and everything uh you know authentic jersey and it has uh messi's name in chinese it's like the chinese year edition um something i never knew really existed like i went in there i knew i was going to get a messi jersey but i was just going to get the regular one you know i go in there and they have this like display and i'm like yo like you know that doesn't look english and then they told me like yeah it's like a chinese year edition we do it like i think every I don't know, I think it's every two years or whatever. And luckily there was only one size, one left in my size. So I was like, screw it, got to get it. So yeah, a lot of reasons why this jersey is special. Messi got to watch my first game at the Camp Nou. Messi scored, Barca won, honeymoon, all that good stuff. So this definitely comes in a number four and yeah. And then that brings me to my number one undisputed favorite jersey. Um, and it's the 2015 Barca third jersey. Obviously, all the, you know, this is when we won the Club World Cup. So it has that nice patch. It's a Champions League jersey. So it has the Champions League patches with our number five. I know if any Madrid fans are watching this, we need to sign. <laughs> <laughs> Messi jersey, of course. So this is my first Messi jersey, too, that I ever bought. Um, not as like, uh, it's going to be a little weird explaining it. Um, it was my first time at the Camp Nou. Like, um, that was, you know, 2015, my wife or my fiance, or no, my girlfriend at the time and I went to Spain to visit. Uh, I proposed, but the Bernabeu. So. But she said no. <laughs> <laughs> she would have said no at Camp Nou, so I had to do it at the Bernabeu. But, you know, we, we visited the Santiago Bernabeu. We visited the Camp Nou. Uh, yeah, Camp Nou. We didn't get to watch any games, unfortunately, but I had to take advantage. Another jersey that I bought at the store. So obviously, you know, authentic. 
um, her messy jersey, all the cool patches. And this is probably my first jersey that has like all the patches. You know, I've, sometimes I just have Champions League. It doesn't have like the World Cup or sometimes it has the Club World Cup. I don't have yeah. the patches or it's missing a name. This one is like the full set. So it looks nice. It's from Barca. You know, what's got six years now. So it, it, I think it's pretty vintage, pretty cool. It's a little wrinkly, but that's okay. <laughs> you can see it, but yeah, undisputed number one. Um, I don't see a jersey taking its place for a while, just for numerous reasons. But yeah. All right. Well, I guess we should now jump into my jerseys. Nope. Nope. Logging off. Sorry. Thanks for <laughs> me. If there's any Madrid right, so jerseys, I'm signing off. No, I can tell you there's no Madrid jerseys, <laughs> but there is some jerseys that might piss you off. First jersey I'm going to show off is actually one that I got somewhat re- – actually, no, it might have been like a year ago, actually. Um, but it's Napoli's tribute jersey. Um, and it's a tribute jersey because this one was made for Maradona when he passed away. And, again, I've said it a thousand times. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I've said it a thousand times. I'm a huge supporter of the Argentina team. And he's uh, obviously a legend when it comes to Argentina. Uh, so this was a pretty much no brainer for me to pick up. Yeah, obviously I have no connection to Napoli, but they have nice, nice jerseys. And but you know, obviously this one, Maradona was the reason, the reason why I got this one, and I love this one to death. It's a player fit, so it doesn't fit me because it's too. <laughs> hey, it's a good. Collection. It's a medium, but it's player fit. So the next jersey I'm going to show, and this will make sense for a lot of things. Um, but it's Arsenal's 2000-2001 season away jersey. And it has a big giant Sega logo on there. Uh, this is kind of what sparked me wanting to collect jerseys. I wanted to collect jerseys that had uh, video game sponsors on them. Um, obviously, we know Fiorentina has a Nintendo uh, logo. Um, I have one, but it's not a legit jersey. It's a, it's a bootleg. So I, I felt like it'd be dumb to kind of show this off as a top jersey. <laughs> But even though I haven't been able to fully legitimize the authenticity of this one, I think it's real. And but yeah, I got it because it was Sega. And I'm I already mentioned I'm a big video game person. So this is the reason why I really wanted to pick up this jersey. There's many other ones. There's like there's a yellow version of this. There's also the red home jersey to say Dreamcast on it. That one was cool. Um, I remember yeah. That one. So I mean it would be, I would definitely like to own all of them, but now those are insanely expensive now. That's Mm-hmm. it'd be really hard to find for a decent price but that was jersey number two jersey number three um and this is one that i acquired recently it's this ireland 1994 i think it's an away jersey or home jersey i'm not now i forgot i'm pretty sure it's an away jersey maybe it's a home jersey i really don't know but it's from 1994 <laughs> it's ireland and it has like that classic little sponsor right, right there that you saw in Bayern Munich's jerseys back in the day. Um, there's not a lot of sentimental value to this because it's Ireland. I have no connections to Ireland, but I think it's just because like uh, this was some, this was, this used to belong to one of my fiance's coworker. And when he found out that I was doing this kind of like YouTube stuff with like jerseys and all that kind of stuff, he was like, Oh, I have this Ireland Jersey that I was going to just throw away or donate to Goodwill or something. Do you want it? And she was like, yeah, sure, I'm sure he'll love it. And then she came home like, oh, here it is. I'm like, do you realize what you're holding? (laughs) But like I said, there's no sentimental value to it other than like it was just a really nice gesture that someone just gave this to me just because they saw that I was doing stuff with YouTube with soccer jerseys. So I don't know who you are, but thank you. And now this is a super sentimental, high value amazing jersey that no one could ever disagree otherwise i'm skeptical and that is i'm skeptical 1994 usa jersey (laughs) oh i already know what it is oh god don't show the name and the reason why it's so great is because the back has lalas (laughs) you're gonna gonna lose followers for this man (laughs) so you ever watches this i'm sorry you're a good player but if you're watching this video lalas just come join join the channel man let's talk <laughs> let's talk with this guy and see what what's his problem what what's your, what, like what's your problem bro what's your problem you want me to stay on the channel <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, so my connection with Lalas is not necessarily because I thought he was this amazing player or anything like that. I quite the opposite, actually. I had literally no opinion of him whatsoever. Um, but you know, uh my favorite number is 22 because my birthday is on the 22nd. I am American. I'm, I'm, I mean, it's true, I was born here. Um, but also Lala. So my family nickname is Lalo. Um, and so when I when I first saw Lala's playing for the US in the World Cup 98, I'd be like, oh, his last name sounds like my nickname. That's cool. And so and it was literally that was like the only connection that I had with him um, was just that our name sounded similar. And so when I came across his jersey, I kind of just rem I was just reminded of that moment when I was a kid having that connection with this ginger beard dude. Um, and I, I did think he looked kind of cool with like the long beard and like the long hair. And I mean, looking back now, it wasn't cool, but like at that time, I thought it was cool. He looked like a Weasley brother from. A Weasley. <laughs> I mean, I think if I remember correctly, back then that wasn't really like a thing, like the long beard and long hair. Yeah, yeah, no, like, not at all. At the time, it was definitely like I guess you yeah. could say it was like iconic for the American yeah. national player. That's an iconic <clears throat> look. Yeah, and this is from the 1994, um, you know, World Cup, and that that's a pretty iconic World Cup just for the fact that I was here in the U.S. Um, you know, USA was also involved and in, well, not necessarily involved, but like when USA beat Colombia and it was because out of an own goal from one of the Colombian players that resulted in him getting killed when he came back to Colombia. Like there's like that kind of history with this as well. So like all that kind of stuff just kind of really, there's like, there's a lot to this jersey that I just kind of, I like about it. Not that I like the whole fact that he got killed. When he got <laughs> but the good thing behind it. There, there's things behind this that just, you know, I, I just, you know, it's the reason why I wanted to have this jersey. For my last jersey, Derby. it's Argentina's current ah. jersey. Uh, this was a DIY project. because This is the jersey I was telling you about that once it came out, I got the authentic jersey. And they didn't have any of these things here. But recently they won the Copa America. But I wasn't, you know, at the time I was only thinking, well, I'm just going to put like the, the qualifying patches on there. But then I saw that some soccer website here in the U.S. actually had these patches and I had to get it. And so, yeah, it came and I, I did a video um, adding these patches onto this jersey. And this is my favorite jersey. This, uh, this is definitely my top jersey, only for the fact that this is the jersey that they won the Cup of America. And this is my first time ever seeing Argentina win anything. Even though they have won Cup of America back in the 90s, I think it was 91, or maybe 90. But I, at, that, at that point in time, like... I was what two, yeah. three, four. Uh, you know, I didn't care. Is Messi on the back? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's is a that, DIY project, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool, man. Well, thanks for joining me with this whole reveal of what I'm doing, dude. Thank you for having me. You know, you already know I'm one of the biggest uh, jersey collectors. I'm always going to support your channel. I wish it the best. Thanks, um, man. I do think my top five is easily better than your top five, but that's, that's, for another, that's for another show, you know, that's for another episode if you want. We can go that's for a debate road, show. That's for the debate show. Oh, that's, yeah, that'd be a good we'll have thing. have a debate too, show. You know? Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, I would like to have you back so that we can do like a proper video and, you know, just talk, because we have a lot to talk about. We have a lot of jerseys. There's plenty to talk about. So I will definitely appreciate if you could do this again with me sometime. Sweet, man. Well, hey, man, I will let you go. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you again for doing this, and I will catch you on the next one. See ya. Peace.